<laughs> okay, so this yeah. guide is uh, there, there, there is, is quite is quite a bit <laughs> quite a bit to the guide. Um, oh yeah. So where 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 do we where where do we begin? What 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 should we begin with? <laughs> Honestly, like when it comes to this guide, um. It's basically it's basically breaking it down to where like you're beginning to like oh I want to VTube on Linux where and what do I do well let me go ahead and start by using this guide that way it will then give me a good reference or point of reference to where I can actually start and going and to be fair like if I didn't start using Linux Vinny wouldn't be either <laughs> like like because Vinny started using Arts like after I got done with like making the guide and everything which is amazing because you know it shows that the guide has some influence on that. Mm -hmm. so like when, when i started to like get this all set up i was like okay i need to make this super simple because a lot of things are not very simple on linux and people will get frustrated really fast mm -hmm. i need to have images which i haven't like updated the wording on the pdfs or even the the copy of the document file mm -hmm. but it does have the visuals on what you can be doing for that that way you're not going to run into any issues. And if mm -hmm. you do run into any issues, they're going to be very minimal in comparison to somebody who doesn't know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Because um, all this information that's on the document is either information that I had taken time to experiment with mm -hmm. or is stuff that I found on the internet that was all spread out. Because that's the issue with trying the VTube on Linux. It's all spread out and it's mm -hmm. not in one spot. It needs right. to be in one spot or it needs to be all linked together in like a web link or whatever. Like web rings kind of like how NeoCities does it. Mm -hmm. That way it continue to give you that point of reference. That way you're not running to any more problems with, with everything. Right, um, I was going to ask you like what, mm -hmm. what existed already out there? Like how much of this stuff did you just work out for yourself? How much had already existed but was just like disconnected content and yeah, just... Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So basically, like a lot of the stuff that was like disconnected was like, like, like Ren sort of helped with like the whole Denshi soft thing because mm -hmm. that worked out well. And that sort of like, like you had you had Ren's guides, you had other people's guides as well. Um, you had these programs that were recommended. Like it's it's like it's not in one place, and it's stuff like needing to get like Luatris mm -hmm. as well as like you know VTS Pog mix it up. You know you know these programs that do work on linux through these uh compatibility layers in order to actually make them you know possible for working because um a, a lot of the stuff's just spread out between a lot of these different vtubers who have you know these videos mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like i think uh when i was like pulling it up and i was like finalizing the guide i saw something about v magic mirror where cyberkun made something mm -hmm. well that has a good possibility of working on linux Mm -hmm. And same thing with 3D VTuber. Robo and Tux Guides is the one who made VTuber Tracker. Mm -hmm. I like. I want to give people credit where credit is due, but I also want it to all be in one spot that way people can go, "Oh, I could find it here. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's easy. Oh, I got it installed. Oh, it works. Oh my God, I can use Linux. You know, stuff like that. And like one of the main barriers with trying to VTube on Linux is people. Um, you know, as you said before, like people m might eventually start thinking that it's windows well it's not windows windows is very windows does things very straightforward that way because because they assume that the consumer doesn't know what they're doing mm -hmm. um when, when you're using like a simple to use distro you sort of have to like experiment with it a little bit before you could start like to get into it mm -hmm. and a lot of these people you know when they do eventually get tired of using windows 11 because there's gonna be at least a decent chunk of them they might move over to Linux or, or Mac or whatever, mm -hmm. but you know, let's hope they move to Linux. And if they choose a distribution that they like, um, then they should be able to start using this guide if they're a VTuber. Mm -hmm. And it will definitely give them that um, that good way of of getting it of getting the job done. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. that, that's why like it's all broken down. Like here are all your prerequisites. Here are what you need or what you might need. Three um, D VTubing is possible on Linux. 2D VTubing is possible on X. There is a a thing for video tube um, for the PNG tubing, which I should add to this list because I haven't done it yet. Um, because I've been using it a couple streams, but like, there's a lot of things that just just works if you're willing to go through the guide mm -hmm. and actually go through that hoop. To of, of, like the main hoop is just like just going on Linux in general, but like. Just trying to get it all taken care of with like the uh, 
getting your distrib you know, choosing your distribution. Because a lot of people have like this decision paralysis and like what distribution mm -hmm. should I choose? Mm -hmm. Just choose the one that you're comfortable with that you feel like is easier enough to use for you. And then um, when you're going through this, what you would do is you would, you know, you'd start out with the prerequisites. You would, you know, it, you know, go through like the whole, you know, starting out on Linux. You know, there's definitely general information on installing your distribution. Make sure you're backing up all your stuff because you will lose it when you reinstall when you when you install Linux on your drive. Because uh, there's going to be a lot of it. Like maybe some people want to keep their VTuber files. They don't have it all backed up to Google Drive, which they probably should. Um, you're going to want to keep that backed up because it's not going to be like Windows to where, oh, it, oh, I could just plug this NTFS drive in. No, it's not. You need to make sure the drive is and at least ext4 or in a compatible linux drive you can technically do ntfs but this is a lot it's, of ex it's, it's extra work to get that working ntfs is very um this let's just let's just say when i was trying out linux mint uh mm -hmm. i was trying to install ff14 on a ntfs ntfs drive mm -hmm. and it kept refusing to you to work uh, ext4 has worked the best for me so far yeah some people use brtfs and in other um formats um mm -hmm. this you know the easiest way because usually the recommended one is the ext4 yeah ext4 um, has been a standard for a very long time um oh yeah yeah some new just i think distros like fedora i don't know that ubuntu but fedora definitely is using um butterfs by default um some dis I know like the Red Hat stuff they use like XFS, I think, or maybe it is ButterFS. But yeah, EXT4, like the EXT line has been basically the standard Linux file system since pretty much EXT1. Oh, yeah. yeah. For better the, or worse. Main... It's not a great file. Yeah. There's, there's, there's issues with EXT4, like it doesn't have snapshotting, things like that, but yeah. Um Yeah, as like a general it works. It's solid enough. ext 4 is fine. Also, it's fast. It, it just it just works. It just works for the most part. <laughs> yeah, for, yeah. Unless something crazy happens, but the, 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 uh, the, the lack of snapshotting is a problem. But you know, yeah. Just and a lot backups. of these things, they like to get these programs to work between like Bottles, Luitris, Steam. You're gonna need something like you know. You're gonna have to download Proton, of course. Mm -hmm. um, I probably recommend downloading Proton nine, eight and seven because are mm -hmm. the most common ones seven specifically for halo um usually the ge proton nines uh like the like the more up-to-date ones will work with like vtubing software as well mm -hmm. um if you get something like proton plus you can install multiple installs on different um on different like programs or they might even share the install depending on how you have your system configured mm -hmm. and in order to actually get these programs running you have to have it on something like some sort of like ge proton or wine ge um in like vts pogs case or i mean it will still work on ge proton but um doing that like it is it just makes things more e it makes things easier and possible because if you don't have it like that you know no nothing's gonna work and you know proton is basically the thing that's like sort of holding everything together as far as like these proprietary programs uh which is a big issue because there isn't a native vtubing um okay i'm gonna rephrase that there isn't a native vtubing program that is still being worked on um because there's a lot of vtubing programs that were worked on before like mm -hmm. vput like v like the like the virtual puppet mm -hmm. uh with like the duck symbol on it and uh oh, or in really Achi 2d uh i don't think it's worked on anymore from what i was from what i know um i think i watched the ren video to where ren said that these were abandoned oh yeah that's sad yeah, it sucks. Like they do work; they're still available for people to use. I guess, mm -hmm. I guess, in case somebody wants to make a fork of it, mm -hmm. which I encourage, please make a fork of it so people can use it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I also kind of wish Denchi Soft would hire somebody to make a Linux port of VTube Studio. Mm -hmm. That way, it's more um, native with your webcam and stuff like that, instead of having to, you know, go through some extra steps. Now, these extra steps do work, mm -hmm. or else I wouldn't be using this right now. <laughs> But um, I'm not able to use stuff like like there are some you know takeaways with this kind of stuff as well. Like you're mm -hmm. not able to use Spout two, um, VTube Studio doesn't like game capture. You could do window capture with a chroma key, which does work, and it's not really an issue. Mm -hmm. But the only problem is like if I were to click on this, it's going to show that. Ah, uh, so it's okay. going to show the menus. So that that's going to be the main issue with that. If you're going to go through and use a, like a 3D program like um, 
like VC face, that will work with game capture as long as you have your game capture support plug, you know, your game capture like uh, plugins in there, like G Streamer and um, o- o- you know VK Capture. Mm-hmm. As long as you have that, both of those are installed, you'll then be able to run that through like a launch command. That way you can have it show up, you know, to actually have an actual game capture with transparency for 3D models. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if uh, stuff like V9 would do that, but I think it would have the same uh, effect because V9 is like a more advanced version of that program mm-hmm. and you can like do more redeems and stuff. So um, it, it would, you would then have that possibility as long as it supports transparency. Mm-hmm. 